What's up, everybody? Welcome to Where the Loco Skate. I am your host, OG Skate Show. This is a show where we get to know the locals and give them a spot to shine. Today, my first guest is none other than Victor Castillo, a.k.a. Listo Ass Fool. How you doing, my friend, today? What's up, Skate Show? I'm doing good, bro. You know, just hanging out, kicking in. We're having a couple room. beers. We're doing good, man. My first question to everybody is going to be, what city are you repping? Uh, right now, I'm staying in West Covina, La Puente. I grew up skiing there, you know, so I say I'll rep La Puente, West Covina, and, you know, those are... At West Covina, was that your first local park that you ended up skating, or...? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's my first local park, but didn't really get along with the locals, so had to move on to Baldwin Park, and those locals were cool, so... And growing, and growing up as a, as a local in those areas, what was the trouble that you had? Uh, just... You know, the local skaters, they were dicks. Mm. You get in their way, they would talk shit. They were like, hey, get out and of And you're just way. a beginner at the time, right? Exactly. And learning how to skate. These and, guys, yeah. yeah. And, and like, Seriously. Yeah, I don't want to deal with that. So I went to Baldwin Park, and the locals were more, much, much cooler out there, you know? So I That's what's just up. kicked it right there. That's what's up. And, and do you have any influencers that got you on a skateboarding? Oh, yeah, of course. Like, I, like, when I first grew up skating, like, I met my neighbor, and then, my friend Philip and then I, I met up with like my friend Peralta, Angel, you know, but professional skateboarder wise, like Paul Rodriguez, Andrew Reynolds, Chris Cole, you know? Oh, so those are the yeah. pros that you looked up to. Of course. That's I wanted to favorite be like them. favorite skate video that you grew up watching? Uh my favorite of all time that I grew up that influenced me to be who I am right now, like as a skateboarder was Baker Three, you know? Like mm. dude, Great Baker Three video. was just like, dude, this guy's just going all ham, throwing bangers, didn't give a fuck. We're just like, we're going to get our shit done and party. And, you know, I wanted to do that. I was a youngster. Is that the kind of skating that you were doing at the time? Of course, man. Gaps, rails. Sick. I was never a ledge skater back in the day, you know? I was just like, find me a stair set. Let's get it on. What would be the first trick that you learned besides an ollie? Uh, I would say a kickflip. Kickflip? Kickflip flip was my first trick, bro. What, do you have a special memory behind that? Uh, yeah, I, I first landed my kickflip in Vegas, and Vegas was like, dude, Vegas. I was out there with like family, you know, and like, my family, they don't really understand skateboarding, they don't really support skateboarding back in the day, you know, but. Of course, we all grew up that way. Exactly, man, but I was just there, I took my, my board, I was out there for a family trip, I took my skateboard, and, you know, I was just right there, just in the front, right there in the apartment, like. Was it stationary or did you roll? Uh, I was stationary. For stationary, sure. yeah. yeah. I was. Yeah. I was then able to roll back in the day and do a kickflip, but. All right. My kickflip came out and I was so happy, bro. I was like, dude. Dude, I know. I I, I remember. I'm not a kickflipper. I'm more a heel flipper, but I did kickflip for the first time, and man, I, and of course nobody was around to watch it. I don't know if you have the same story, but that should happen to me. You know what's funny is like. You never have nobody to see your first trick. Yeah. But you know you landed it, and you get that feeling. But and you know you did it, so that, of course. that's what's up. Yeah. You know? All right. Uh, did you have a skate crew growing up? Did you kick it with homies? Did you have, like, a, a special homie that you call every day to go out? Well, I have like I had, like, a bunch of different uh, skate crews, skate teams, and I was, like, I grew up, like, skating with. Like, first one was... Um, just my neighbors, like, you know, like, my neighbor across the street, my neighbor next door, like, they were skating at the den right there. From there, they introduced me to another skate team that was in Jack in the Box, right there in La Puente. They had a Jack in the Box. They had loading docks and stuff, you know? Sick. So everybody will meet up right there and just, like, just skate, you know? Like Yeah. I don't know I why, but when I was growing up, too, Jack in the Box seemed to have the perfect curves. Like, they were painted really nice. We had a Jack in the Box. I used to skate at it as a kid. Also. Um, what was your board set up like when you first, uh, started skating? Did somebody, was it a hand-me-down? Did, did you have to put it together? What was the deal? Uh, nah, like my first board, I just bought it from like a Swami, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah. Swami board. Yeah, yeah, Swami yeah. Board. Did, it, did it roll or was it? I was, it was kind of cool, you know, but after that, I just threw it back in the shed and. Do you, you remember know, the know. first pro board you ever bought? My first pro board. I would have to say. Uh, world Industry, but that okay. didn't really have a name on it. It was just a World Industry of Flame Boy when he was finding Wet Willy. And he had like the referee. They were in the ring where Willie's all knocked out with the ref holding Flame Boy's hand up. 
I mean, that's what that's nostalgic yeah. right there, man. That's great. I was always a flame bo- uh, flame boy fan, you know. Like Wait Willie, I was like, nah, I like oh, flame you, boy. Oh, you wanted to be and on like fire. he had Daredevil with him or yeah. the Red Devil with him, you know. That's sick, dude. Yeah, yeah I remember yeah. those days, man. I, I was growing up. Yeah, world industry, you know, being a kid and you like the cartoon, the pictures. Mm-hmm. It was awesome. Yes, sir. Uh, do you have any uh, special music that you listen to while skateboarding? Uh, yeah, man, I listen to like. You know hip hop right now nowadays I listen to hip hop but uh back in the day well I'll just put on my headphones I listen to like house music dubstep you know uh, horror style and I'll just be like boom just throw down you know like I'll get out of control and just I don't give a fuck what happens to me I'm just gonna get high throw on my headphones so that's what we know? wanna hear hell yeah, yeah. And what's your board set up like today? What, what what you rocking? Uh, right now I'm rocking a Colors board. You know, Colors has been hooking me up. I'm on Concrete Visionary. They have Colors and stuff. But uh, Colors board. I got a Colors board, Venture Trucks. I got like Spitfire wheels, on the lay bearings, and hardware. I'm not really too sure. I think it's Graveyard hardware. All yeah, right, man. all right, all right. With uh, all Dirty Bastard grip tape, footprint grip tape. Oh, for sure. Uh, any dream sponsors that you had growing up? Oh yeah, man! I always wanted to be on like Nike SB. Nike was the shit, bro. Like Nike SB, and then um, you know, I always wanted to be a baker. I was always a baker fan. No matter to this day, I'm a fucking baker fan. You know, baker. I always wanted to get a baker. Baker always delivers when they when they produce. Of course, the, Andrew know. Reynolds is the boss. He's the one that chooses who's gonna get on Baker. You know, I met him a couple a couple times. I had an opportunity to get on it, but. My opportunity was kickflip back 50, wheelchair 15, and you'll get on. Mm. I knew the filmer that wanted to film it, and he knew Andrew Reynolds. He was filming some of like the Baker dudes. So he's like, I had a homie that knew the filmer, and he told me, dude, back, kickflip back 50, wheelchair. And like, for sure you'll get on wheelchair. I mean, get on, on wheelchair. Baker. For sure you'll get on Baker. But yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And he, and he was like, you know, like, yeah, he's like, and I never did it, so I never got on, but that was my opportunity. Those are always those what ifs, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. What could have happened? What could have? But as long as you're doing what you're doing today and you're still killing it, I see you on the yeah. board. I'm your homie. I see what you're doing out there. You're always fucking producing. So, uh, any other hobbies besides skateboarding that you want to let everybody know that oh, you yeah, have? Yeah, man. I'm really athletic, so I love sports, you know, soccer. I grew up playing soccer. I love basketball, uh, hiking. I love, you know, yeah. doing different things besides staying at home, you know. But yeah. I also like staying at home when I'm lazy, you know, watching Hulu, Who all does faded, it? smoking weed, you know. Oh, damn. Well, we're, so that's a hobby. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, hopefully we're already 10 minutes into the episode after that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all good. So hobbies is smoking weed and chilling. All right. Uh, being, uh, playing sports. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh <laughs> all right <laughs> we're gonna have to edit around that one uh is there any skate chicks uh any skate tricks that you want to learn right now that that hasn't gone down yet um uh, dude i always wanted like disco flip the triple sis and a monica mm-hmm. that's a dream trick or maybe even double flip lorbeer 14 it's a very famous 14 stair and diamond bar well we don't want to let everybody know that you're gonna do that because well, we want to see you do that so well they're gonna have a clue it's like, is he really like is we really, might get that in a clip one day is he really gonna do it or is he just talking out of well, his mind he's but putting it out there so let's i see. tried it before so i need to go back and get it but i'm 31 right now so you know getting older i can't really jump off stairs i could but I gotta be careful the next day because I'm gonna be sore as fuck. That's all <laughs> you know? good. We're all getting older. I'm I'm about my forties now. Yes, sir. Fucking life goes by fast. It really does, man. Yes, yes, sir. Well, this is how the podcast is pretty much gonna go. I, I asked a couple of questions to the homies, to the locals. We're trying to see, we're trying to get to know the person behind the skateboard. We don't always have to see what they're clip after clip after clip. We want to get to know the person. So, are there any shout-outs that you want to give or any plugs? Yeah, man, for sure. I got shout-outs for, like, Skate Cho, the guy behind the camera, which is Peralta, Peralta. a.k.a. Zombie Wolf on Instagram. I want to thank my skate uh, sponsors, Footprint, Cocker Visionary, Embrace Your Fear, my skate teams, Bumtown, Twop Dub, like, all my homies that supported me. Skate Cho, again. Anytime, cheers, bro. You Anytime. know, like, everybody that was just there, my family, number one, God, my parents, you know. Yes. So I want to give shout outs to them. That's you good, know? man. Well, we want to thank everybody for joining us today. 
Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and make sure to leave a comment. Let us know if you have any local skaters that you want to see on my show. We'll fucking get them in here and we'll take care of the business, dog. So that does it for us today. This is where the local skate, OG Skate Show, you can find me on Instagram. We'll see you next time. Peace.